Hello everybody, and happy Star Wars month! It's been a pretty good month for me so far. Got to go back and rewatch The Phantom Menace in theaters. I wasn't able to go back during the 10th Anniversary Edition re-release when they had it in 3D, so I wasn't about to miss it this time. And I've also been picking up some new Star Wars merch, including some new comic books and some older ones, and a couple of other things here and there. And today I figured why not give a review of this uh, Trumu Blue Milk that they apparently have at Disney Parks, and they decided to release it to the greater public. Now, I actually don't really like Trumu as a brand as far as their chocolate milk is concerned. I think it tastes like sadness. It's like the chocolate milk equivalent of LaCroix. But let's see how well the blue milk does. It's got a nice blue color. Pretty screen accurate from what I can tell. Always make sure you shake your milk before you pour it, whether it's uh, chocolate, blue, or otherwise. So, now let's see how it tastes. If you've heard reports saying that it kind of tastes like melted vanilla ice cream, that's not entirely wrong. But I wouldn't say it's like full fat, full sweetness vanilla ice cream. It tastes kind of like one of those low fat diet ice creams, if that makes any kind of sense. Like one of those sugar free vanilla ice creams. It tastes kind of like that. But more than just drinking the milk, I decided to see what other applications it would be good for. For example, I am a regular coffee drinker, so let's see how well it does as a coffee creamer. I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but in real life, it definitely has kind of a uh, bluish green tint to it. It's like brown with a tint of blue. It doesn't show up very well on the camera from what I can see, but it looks a little bit strange, but let's see how it tastes. Being used as a coffee creamer, I don't really detect anything special about it, kind of just like any other coffee with milk and sugar, so nothing really extraordinary about it for this application. But what about for cooking? I decided to bake some blueberry muffins. You know, blue milk, blueberry, so why not? Now let's take a look at the uh, cross section here. That is the regular blueberry muffin, and this is the one made with blue milk. You can see it's got a little bit more of a bluish tint to it, obviously. And these were made at the same time in the same pan, and they were, they were baked together. And this one looks like it rose up a little bit more. I don't know if that's due to the milk or if that's due to how I separated the dry ingredients before I mix them together. But another thing you can notice is the uh, the bottom right here and the top is a little bit more caramelized than this other one. You probably can't see it very well on camera, but take my word for it. It is uh, a bit uh, firmer, it is a bit uh, crispier, and uh, that's probably because the blue milk has a lot more sugar in it than the regular 2% that I used to make this. So uh, it definitely can add to your baking if you're willing to put out the effort for some novelty blue milk in your cooking. Well, so that's uh, pretty much all I have to say on it. It's a fun novelty, and uh, if I ever do actually get to go to Disneyland, then I will probably grab me a bottle or two while I'm there. And if they bring this promo back, I might keep a half gallon on hand every once in a while. But so, I thought it was uh, pretty neat, but, you know, not really super extraordinary. Just, just some fun. Well, thank you all for watching, and hope the rest of your May is fantastic. Happy Mother's Day to everybody, and happy Star Wars Month. May the Force be with you.